not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From the city. Well, well. Then what are you doing wandering around out here, so far from the protective walls of the city? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. For one thing, there's the bandits. They'd polish off a little wimp like you for breakfast. If the bandits don't catch you, then the wild animals in the forest or the mercenaries roaming around will take care of you. So first get yourself some decent armor before you go out. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Just assuming I would fall back on your help, uh, how much would that cost me? I am merely a humble servant of the king and would not enjoy fleecing a helpless little citizen of the realm. But you know, if you put it like that, I wouldn't object to a little financial backing to promote our future business relationship. Ten gold coins should do for starters. What do you think? I'll think about it. Suit yourself. Have a nice death.
The human slew the beast, and it entered into Beliar's realm. Adonis saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from Dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there, because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Do you know anything about the Paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. <laughs> Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the Paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman, without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out never came back. What happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. Now, I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon. But Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. Harrod told me about the attack by bandits. Oh? And? He'll give me his approval to be accepted as an apprentice if I hunt down the bandits. <laughs> Good old Harrod. That must be his way of saying he's sorry that he can't produce any weapons for me at the moment. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city, and I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. And after a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? You want to get in Harrod's good books, don't you? I don't think I should have to pay you for this. It's gonna get even more Show me your wares.
says things like that. He can't keep anything to himself. Who says things like that? One more thing. Listen, kid. I've got important things to do right now. We'll talk again later, got it? Who says things like that? Enos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduce himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days, and every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. I can get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I'm looking for clues to the Thieves' Guild. I might well be able to help you. Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Renguru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. How much gold was in that purse? 50 gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. He simply talks to you much. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Renguru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Everybody have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my goal? I'm still working on it. Then see to it that you get my gold back. Show me your wares. I'm Zorus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant, but he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Show me your wares. Show me your where.
What do you want here? Go. See? That wasn't so hard. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos? Or donate some gold for his church? I need to talk to the Paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, you need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city guard. And of course, to us, magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join our order as a novice. When you have served for a time, perhaps you will be accepted into the ranks of the magicians. However, the path to acceptance is long and full of work and study. I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. How else can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Enos? So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. Hmm. Hmm. You have more than 50 gold coins. Donate 25 to Innos and receive his blessing. I bless you in the name of Innos, for he is light and righteousness. Where do you come from? I come from the monastery of the magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty Lord Innos. Tell me about Innos. Inos, our almighty lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be his tool, giving them magic and laws. We act in his name. We administer justice according to his will and preach his word. Tell me more about the monastery. We instruct our students in all forms of magic. But the arts of the magicians of fire consist of more than these alone. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy and in the creation of powerful runes. <laughs> we also make excellent wine. These are bad times. What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful words. Particularly in these difficult times, it is our duty to be there for the people and to help the poor. I want to make... I can't take care of everything. But I didn't bring enough... That doesn't matter, my son. 
You can also donate as much as you want later. How's business? When the Paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity, but they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the Paladins are paying my hotel bill. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm, but I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Show me your wares. says you got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! Hey you! I have a proposition for you. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison. You pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will get a weapon from me, and a damned good one. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares, and while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. Don't you have a job to do? First, voice the letter onto Sarah, and then go to Andre and accuse her. Do that, and don't try to cheat me. You would regret it. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltron. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, 
but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. Show me your wares. Ah, customer, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gallows Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly forbidden. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. <sighs> Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I, I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you.
Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. Wait a minute. So, doing all right? What else do you want? I didn't steal anything else, honest, man. come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Canthor the merchant is trying to get rid of Sarah. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? I was supposed to foist a letter on Sarah, which claimed that she's supplying weapons to Onar. I see. I shall gladly pay the bounty for that bastard. He is already as good as behind bars. discuss this later. Now get lost. I want to rest. Al-Shalidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee, oh father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? God. 
guarding an entry, an old tunnel, the Valley of Mines, man in shining armor, a magician, your friend is with them, he is waiting for you, fire, an attack, a mighty creature, the flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Guarhodron in Jagandar. He is summoned. Guarhodron in Jagandar. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Can you make me another prophecy? Oh, son of the mysterious future. It is not within my power to live the veil of time. Only when time sends me another omen shall I be able to see for you again. When will that be? When the future has become present and you have continued your journey. turned him over to the city guard. Then you've made an enemy of a dangerous man. I've known the bastard for a long time, and he's always wanted my place for himself. Take this weapon as a token of my gratitude. Thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? He got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Right. Listen up. You haven't heard anything of what I'm about to tell you from me, Capiche? There are shady characters who frequent the Dockside Inn. I bet the landlord knows a thing or two. If you're planning to track down the Thieves, you should go talk to him. You could act like you're up to something crooked, for example. Maybe he'll fall for it, but be very careful. These people are not to be trifled with. I want part of the gold as a reward, but I already gave you a valuable hint. That should suffice as reward for you. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. 
By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gate are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Has anything exciting happened? Oh, well, all's quiet. That's not what I heard. If he doesn't see it, I can't help it. Why won't they listen to me? How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Enos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job, my boy. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still... How much do you charge? Two hundred... Can you sell? Well, all right, but they won't be of any use to you as long as you don't. You've got no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Wait a minute. What do you want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. Did it have draws? Good man. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. When can I start as your apprentice? We can really use a man around here who can beat an orc. As far as I'm concerned, you can start here right away. As for the other masters, Thorben has given you his blessing. Prosper tried to talk me out of it. He wants you as an apprentice for himself. He asked me to at least give him the opportunity to interest you in his profession. Take a look at it. You can always decide afterwards. Unless you don't want his vote, that is. About the plants, if you cannot handle that by your... I see. Show me your work. Wolves, 
as well as sheep. Last of all, the rose, a human. And Adonis was pleased with what had arisen. He delighted in all the beings he knew. But so great was the wrath of Beliar that he came across the land and chose the beast. And Beliar spoke to it, and the beast became his subject. And Beliar gave unto it a portion of his divine power, so that it might destroy the land. we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them, but we broke our pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city but we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. 